to my channel it's your girl Nelly short for Chanel and today I'm back with another video we're back and we're back for good now I know I always say that but this time I'm like I'm serious I'm, I'm being for real um a lot has changed a lot has happened but we're just gonna we're gonna start fresh so today we're gonna be doing a how to get started with acting I've been getting a lot a lot a lot of questions on like my tiktok and instagram dms and stuff like that about how i began with acting how i started how you can start tips and stuff like that for you guys and that's kind of what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be giving you guys like five to ten tips on how to start and how i started etc blah 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 and um yeah let's get into the video so before i give you guys tips and stuff like that for you i'm gonna give you guys a little backstory on like how i started just like a short and a shortened version of it because it's it's a lot it's been it's been a long journey <laughs> it's not easy i'm gonna give like a little warning beforehand this is not a career that you can go into and expect results the next day like it takes time it takes effort it takes lots of patience you have to have tough and thick skin because you hear a lot of no's before you get those yeses and yeah it doesn't happen overnight it takes investing you have to pay for headshots you have to pay for coaching classes you know you have to go out and find an agent you have to audition if this is really something that you want to do continue watching so as far as my little backstory on how i started so i've been interested in acting since i was like seven eight years old like literally and I've been always it's always been in my mind like that I knew that's always what I wanted to do so I started off and like telling my mom hey I want to do acting I think I got it was from a Disney Channel show that I started watching I don't remember which exact one but I just remember watching it and like I really like what they're doing like, what is this called like I knew it was acting and I knew it was TV how do I do it how do I get into it so my mommy yeah, I spoke to her and she noticed she started taking me out on audition I'm from New York I live in LA now in New York she would take me on like these little auditions and back then they had way more scams than they do now I feel like now it's easier like a lot of people know now like how to tell the difference between a scam and something legit but before it was like worse like there was so many scams like so many so we went to a few ended up being scams she started submitting me to agencies nothing back it was it was a lot also she didn't really know how to do it eventually i'm assuming like she kind of gave up or whatever so i don't know it takes a lot of um effort and patience from the parent as well when you're around that age because you have to like you know she had a job and it was just a lot so it didn't work out at that age ended up getting older as i got older it never left my mind i would take like acting classes i would do theater i would do plays yeah i would get like a lot of doubt a lot of oh you can't do this you need to know people or i don't know just a lot of like hate and things like that but never gave up still here fast forwarding um when i was about 14 15 i'm like i can't like i cannot wait any longer i have to do something and i started watching youtube videos doing lots of research and things like that i magically went into the nail salon one day with my mom and i got scouted by this lady she was like your daughter's really pretty does she do pageants and my mom's like not really but she is into modeling more so acting so then they start talking we start talking and she basically recommends me to an agency a small one in staten island which is you know still in new york so it was near me and i applied well not applied but i well yeah i applied got accepted but they were super small they literally weren't getting me anything and the things that they were getting me were like background work and extra work and at that time i didn't realize that background work and, and extra work is not something that an agency is supposed to get you you can get that yourself if that's the case casting networks actors access backstage like what <laughs> you're not supposed to your agents not supposed to do that because you can do that yourself like what's the point of paying somebody something that you can do you know so i didn't realize that though until after i met one of my close friends now his name is javon and he has helped me through this acting like journey so much like i don't even know if i'd be here without him and i always say that like we always joke about that like well like, if i didn't meet you like where, what would i be doing i mean i know i'd still be like you know here it'd probably just take longer but um he's helped me so much so i met him on set for like a background work thing one day and then from there he kind of taught me more and stuff anyways more of the story that's kind of a little background story and then turn 18 and when i turn 18 I got signed with an amazing agent. I started getting auditions 
realized I really need more classes, so I started taking more classes, getting better headshots. My headshots were not good. I actually took them myself. They're so bad. Like, if you search up my name, like Chanel Fuller, you, you'll see, like, the first ever headshot I got, and I don't know what I was thinking. I was, like, 13, 14, Ooh. and I always looked younger than my age, so I always played younger, which means in my headshots, I try to, you know, they would make me, like, look younger, too. So in this headshot, I was, like, 13, 14, but I look younger, and I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It's so cringy i'm so sorry anyways as time went by things got better and better um i eventually ended up leaving that agent though because we just weren't a good fit for each other recently moved to la by myself so now i'm here in la when i moved here i got signed to an amazing manager two amazing agents so now i'm like working with three amazing like teams and it's been nothing but you know good news and good vibes since that's like a little backstory. I know it probably wasn't as little, but that just kind of wanted to tell you guys how I started. That's literally how I started out. Um, and then I'll give you guys tips now. But yeah, that's how that went. And now I'm just, I'm getting auditions. I'm taking more classes. I am, I got an acting coach. She's amazing. Her name is Valerie Ortiz. I actually just finished an audition and coaching with her and it, it went so well. Like I love her so much. So as far as tips, I would say if you want to start out, the first thing that you need to do is ask yourself is this really something that i want to do i think a lot of people want it for the wrong things like they just want to be famous or they just like no like you can tell when someone's acting when they're genuinely acting when they actually like to do this and you have to really want to do this and i can't stress that enough you have to want to act you have to want it really bad like you know this has to be something that you you're super interested in and ask yourself like do i really want this like you know like really think about it so that's for one and step number two i'd say do your research if you're in school still do some plays try to get into your theater classes get the feeling of being on stage because that's also how you'll know if you really want to do this because you have an audience find classes in your city all you have to do is look up classes in my state wherever you are so like for example i did acting classes in new york and i found it and just kind of go with who you can afford these things are not cheap also so that's why i said this is something you have to invest in it's definitely worth it make sure you read reviews when you're looking out these acting coaches you can do private lessons you can do like lessons with a group mostly everything now is on zoom so even if you live in a different state and you want to take classes with someone in you know somewhere else than you can but if you also work better in person then definitely look in your state or city from there you'll get more insight you'll learn more gain more skill work on your craft i would say from there you want to get headshots again also not cheap <laughs> um sometimes you'll find sales you want to get some really nice headshots because headshots are literally what gets you an audition so it's not something that you just need a okay picture nice cool no get your headshots from someone professional again read reviews always read reviews that's find your type also when you before you take you do you you want you before you take your headshots know what your type is um because you want to take you want to have at least three to five different types and that meaning are you funny incorporate that into your headshot are you do you like horrors like me i love thriller you want to take a picture like that like you have to make sure find your type take your headshots like that next is clips you can either use a real but now more and more people are just kind of using audition clips like if you have like a little monologue or audition clip that you have like a mock audition then you can send that to agencies when you want to get accepted instead of sending a reel like post clips instead of posting a reel it's either or um obviously a reel is more professional but they honestly don't mind if you're good you're good you know and they can see that in an audition clip I'm like okay this person has potential to book like they're this clip is really good because that's what i do i don't have a reel at the moment i'm working on that so i just use clips and i get auditions i get bookings you can literally start looking for agencies in your city or state and apply apply with your headshot oh resume a resume that's important we forgot the resume obviously if you're starting out you don't have a resume but you can put like i said this is why you do plays and theater because you can put that on your resume to start off and you can also put who you coach with in your resume and that'll look good for you because if you're coaching with someone really good an agency is gonna look at that like hey i know this acting coach like they're coaching with them i'm pretty sure they're they're good or they're getting there they have potential and headshots are mainly important too so you want to send that in and have like a little cover letter i have like the same cover letter that i use that i have it in my notes and i just copy and paste it when i was like looking for agency it's just a little paragraph about like who you are that you're looking for representation and that you're 
obviously you want to work with them and team up with them and that what your type is and just like keep it short because obviously they read a lot of emails so keep it short and simple you'll get the auditions from there but you can also self-submit um sites like actors access casting networks and backstage those are like three legit ones that i know for sure the rest i'm not sure of oh and there's uh Oh, casting frontier but that's more so for like commercials imdb pro is also something that you can invest in because they have like agents in, on there that you can find like legit ones and just like things like that so that's also important but um lastly i would say to get experience on set like i was saying earlier you can do plays in theater to get experience but to really see like the cameras and acting and directors and and like legit real life actors you can start off with background work and extra work to see if it's something you really want to do because you'll be you're getting the first view like you're seeing how everything's being put together how everything works casting networks is number one for background work you make a profile it's only like 15 dollars a month and it's worth it because it's also a way for you to get income they pay you and you just just literally submit yourself to anything that you would want to do and that's in your city or state and you'll get your experience on set and you'll see you see how everything works and then everything will fall from there so I think that's pretty much it uh, but if you guys have any more questions like I said I'll do an acting Q&A you guys like how to audition like anything you guys want to see acting related I got you guys just comment down below you can also DM me on my Instagram I'll have like all my social in the description um i hope that i helped you guys and i hope that covers it i will see you guys next time thank you guys for watching make sure you guys comment down below some video requests you want to see like i said i'm also going to get out that curly hair tutorial or how to fix your curls because i've been getting a lot of those questions so again thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for more subscribe support is free bye guys